P stands for past. R, remorse. A, for the sake of Allah. N, never again. If you have sinned, if you've committed a sin with your eyes, if you looked at something which was haram, and then suddenly you realize that this is a haram that I've committed, I need to make tawbah. And you say, oh Allah, I repent from this sin of the past. Remember, you make tawbah from a possible sin of the future. Oh Allah, I make tawbah in advance for a sin that I may commit in the future. And that is taqwa. That is abstinence. That is piety. But that's not tawbah. Tawbah is to repent from a sin that you've committed in the past. And it is i'tiraf zam it is admitting and accepting i'tiraf accepting that I have committed a sin and acknowledging the sin of the past it's not just sin of the past we have to acknowledge it that it is a sin you have to believe that it is a sin you have to admit that I have committed a sin if you think I don't know if it's a sin or not but I still make it over no i'tiraf acknowledging the sin of the past oh Allah I believe that I have actually sinned and now I make tawbah from the sin of the past. That is P. That's another thing that you've learned now. And the second condition is to have remorse, to create a guilty feeling, to feel ashamed about your heart. And one example I always give is to say that, Oh Allah, if my father was to see me committing this sin, I wouldn't be able to confront my father. How will I confront you on the day of the day? What face will I show to you on the day of the day? That is how you create nadama, sharmindagi. Remorse in your heart for the sin that you've committed. That is, and the third condition is to make toba for the sake of Allah, not for dunya, not to make toba for dunya. Oh Allah, I repent only for your sake. If you have sinned and there is fear of dunya, if you have sinned and you think that you will be exposed, people will know about your sin. Oh Allah, cover my sin this time. Oh Allah, save me. Oh Allah, what if my family finds out? If my relatives, if my friends will think that I'm a pious person, what if he finds out? Ya Allah, what face will I show to dunya? That's for dunya. That's not for Allah. For the sake of Allah is to make repentance only for the pleasure of Allah. And to think about the accountability in the air after. To think about the punishments in the cover. To think about the punishments in Jahannam. Oh Allah, I fear you and my tawbah sincerely for your sake. Some people make tawbah. They've sinned. And then they make toba. Why do you make toba? I make toba because I, whenever I sin, a punishment comes. So they they sat in the exams, and now they feel that they've sinned, and they may fail the exams. So say, Oh Allah, make this toba. May I pass my exams? Ya Allah, I will never sin again. That toba is not for the pleasure of Allah. That is to pass the exams. Some people get this. They, they, they commit a sin and they get punished in dunya. And they know that they've sinned now. Now a punishment is about to come. They make toba. That is to pass your exams. That is to have success in your business. That is to have success in dunya. But toba is not for the sake of Allah. So to ask yourself when you make toba, is it for Allah's sake or is it for dunya? You committed crime and you will be imprisoned. You have a court case and you say, Ya Allah, make toba. I will never sin again. I will never miss my prayers now. Ya Allah, this time if I succeed, Ya Allah, I make a promise I will never sin again. And you make toba and you start repenting. Is that for Allah's sake? No. That is to avoid imprisonment. That's not for the sake of Allah. For the sake of Allah is to avoid the imprisonment in the hereafter. For the sake of Allah is to avoid the wrath of Allah in the hereafter. For the sake of Allah is to attain the pleasure of Allah in this dunya in the hereafter. So to ask ourselves, is it for Allah's sake or is it for dunya? Fourth, never again. And never again. To persuade yourself, I will never sin again. Oh Allah, I will never sin again. With your mercy, with your help, I will never sin again. And then if Satan says, what if you end up sinning again? Satan will whisper and he will say, but what if you do? Remember you made Tawbah in the past, then you broke it, then you made Tawbah, then you broke it, then you made it, then you broke it. It's a mockery of Tawbah. What's the point of making this Tawbah? You keep making Tawbah, you keep breaking it. You will break it. Say to Satan, if I break it again, then I will make Tawbah again. My Lord is mercy. If I make, if I break it, then I will make Tawbah again. As long as at the time of Tawbah, I was sincere. Allah will forgive all the sins of the past. The one who makes Tawbah from sins is purified in such a way as if he has never sinned before in his life. So then you will say to Satan, Oh Satan, you're deceiving me, you're telling me, what if I commit a sin again? As long as at the, at the time of Tawbah I persuaded myself that I will not sin again, Allah will forgive all the sins of the past. Is that clear?